Welcome to Thin Blue Whiskey, and it is Mash Madness 2024, boys. Yeah, finally. So the way we're going to do this is these videos are going to all start posting. Uh, we got 16, well, 17 bottles, but we've got Sweet 16 up here. And so these will start running the week of the Sweet 16 as, oh shit, can we say that? I don't know. The not um, bitter 16. <laughs> yeah. The not bitter 16. Yeah. So that's when the <laughs> basketball tournament is going to be playing. We'll run these videos in yeah. conjunction. We did this last year and it was a whole lot of fun, but this year we decided let's do all 100 proofers. It takes the proof out of the game. Yeah. So we, can't, we can't bring in like a hundred, like the not, the Kentucky Owl was kind of a, and the George T. Sags were, you, you got into your nose well, in the glass, you're like, oof, that's, well, it's a good deal going on there. That was kind of what we were worried about last year was the fact that some of those really high proofers were going to go up against a low proofer mm -hmm. on the well, other side of the bracket. Kind of a stacked, you know. <laughs> so, but the, it ended up not really happening the way it all worked out. We we lucked out that we didn't have a crazy high proofer up against a, you know, a hundred proofer. So right. All hundred proofers. The way we decided this was, well, basically we either a affordability. Uh, availability or what we already had in our current stock <laughs> yes. and so we've got some really good ones here and we've got some really affordable some surprises that we've had in the past ie mellow corn yeah. <laughs> so uh, the tournament bracket uh, we all decided that we had really four tater bottles in this thing and those were the old Forester 1924 the McKenna 10, the E.H. Taylor small batch, and then the ultimate tater, I think, was the Rock Hill Farms. So that's kind of our overall number one seed. You know, look at the doorknob on the top of that. Thing. Yeah, and it's, <laughs> yeah. So Jimmy and I got into that <laughs> last weekend to fresh crack so we can have all yep. these open. All of and, these have some air in them. Yep. They're all equally ready. <laughs> so we decided that that was the overall number one seed, and that gets us to the play-in game it gets the play-in game which is coming up next which is evan williams bottled and bond versus benchmark bonded that's and how we're of, starting that is one of those right off the bat is out of here and the uh, winner plays rock hill farms that's tough sledding yeah. that is thanks, both good. thanks for showing up to the tournament and give back and <laughs> so why did we why did we pick that well because the randomizer wheel told us that that's what we were yeah. picking yeah so we set the number one seeds and the number two seeds and we kind of determined that the two seed was the four roses single barrel the uh ben holiday soft red wheat bottled in bond the knob creek 15 and the Knob Creek 12, those were all our two seeds. So we, we hand selected one and two seeds and then randomized the rest of them into three and four seeds. From there, I ran a dual <laughs> randomizer <laughs> wheel and which picked where in the bracket they fell, uh, where, where in the bracket they fell and then who they were playing. So, so that's how we got to where we're at. I'm going to throw the uh, the bracket up here on the screen. And, man. It's going to be a fun. That's going to be great. Fun little tournament so, of sorts. <laughs> right after this, we are going to get going on the play-in game. We'll see you guys right after this. Happy St. Patrick's Day. It is Sunday. I lost the memo. The it's 17th. Okay. And so here we are with the play-in game. Game number one, Mash Madness 2024. We're going to try and do this a little bit different from maybe last year. A lot less talky mm, We're, until, we, until we pick our winner. So we have a clip from a, a certain movie. So here we go. This matchup, it's hard to this believe is, that one of these is done. Yeah, the yeah, equivalent of a play-in game into our Mash Madness. Again, this was randomized. Like yeah. This mm -hmm. matchup was totally picked. And I was Ugh. very disappointed at that one of these is out. Not even hey, make, not listen. The playing games, they're not those teams. They're just happy to be there. Yeah, I, they're not a part of the tournament. Jimmy. Yep, this is true. I, they're just they're the, they're the teams that couldn't make the NIT as a good team. They couldn't make the <laughs> big tournament as a bad team. They're, they're just, just in the middle. It's okay. You know, they fought when hard. They, when they added those playing games, all twelve just, of them, like just like the playing games. 
to the NBA playoffs, you didn't make the playoffs. If you get eliminated at the playing games, they don't count. Mm-hmm. Well, Sorry. it is what it is. I'll go off on a tangent there. It's like playing at the state tournament. The <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, let's get into it. See which one we like best, and then we'll kind of talk about. A lot of huffing, a lot of sighs behind the bar here, because this is this is bottom shelf Jim's go to every day, and I gotta pick one over the other. I have my decision. Me too. <sighs> Damn it! It is literally like. That's not easy. Uh-uh. It's a pick 'em essentially. Yeah. Got a coin to flip? I know. I know. I'm. I got my decision. I'm gonna regret it either way, but I've got to take a stand, man. Okay. We're all three locked in. Answers are locked. All right. I. My pick is the left glass. Me left. too. Do we have any guesses? Is that the first time we've all guessed the same? Usually uh, one of us is like yeah. the asshole that's off. <laughs> yeah, I mean, so for me the left glass was a little easier to drink there was a mm-hmm. there was a sharpness on the right glass i'm surprised you didn't pick the right glass to be honest because you kind of i figured you'd like that but it was almost more of a grainy sweetness sharpness yeah. whereas the one on the the left that just it was softer just a little smoother um a little more it was just rounder yes, yeah it was per, that's, it was, that's why that's i liked a, it better and, it's a great term yeah they this the right one was just it was too sharp, almost grassy sharp versus mm-hmm. sweet sharp. Do you have a guess of which what? I should, I I don't. <laughs> I have. I mix Evan Williams with Big K Cola, so this. I mean, <laughs> okay. So we should all have a. 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 All right, that's the bonded, if I remember right. Yep. Hey. So the benchmark bonded moves on. That's yep. one I was hoping yep. for. That's it's, that was my guess. I I remember getting one of the last videos that we did with the Evan Williams bottle and bond. It we talked sharp. about a sharp a yep. sharpness mm-hmm. on it, and that was my guess was that sharpness was the Evan Williams just based I on think. one of the last videos Both that are we good, did. Though. That's oh yeah. That's, going back to our Grinchmas, our yeah, it's, under around 20 bucks for a Yeah, both of these have been featured a couple of times and yeah. it's it's the value choice for mm-hmm. sure, but Benchmark is, you know, just marginally better, a little bit smoother. Yep. I felt like the finish lasted a little longer, but the last second shot. Yep. Sorry to see you go Evan Williams, you will be back. You are kind of the the recurring guest on this <laughs> this episode here, so Yep. So there we have it. All Benchmark right. bonded moving on. I am glad that that happened. Tune in for all of the rest of the first round games. Here's the bracket. I'm going to put it up here. Um, This is what we got going on now. So we'll see you next time right here at Thin Blue Whiskey.